We're not bringing you a new idea. We're just letting you know that its time has come. Advanced Air Vehicles of Albuquerque, New Mexico is committed to develop, build, and market compressed air powered vehicles that are what we call practically green. This means that the vehicles are good at what they're designed to do and operate without the need for petroleum or boxes full of acid and toxic metals, better known as batteries. Compressed air has been used to power vehicles since at least 1879, when a French inventor used a recently developed compressed air motor to power a model airplane that logged numerous successful flights. And through the turn of the century and beyond, when compressed air locomotives were in commercial use on urban railways and underground mines, including a locomotive which remained in service until 1961. When the petroleum industry came into power, however, petroleum became the power of transportation. The automotive industry has also demonstrated several surges of interest in compressed air power from the very earliest models through several patented working prototypes. Most often these developments did not have the funding or technical support to take them further. But recent, well-funded and highly promoted efforts with the technology seem to have been left aside like the toys of an easily distracted child. It is understandable when great ideas fail to launch because the developer has limited financial and technical resources. It has happened thousands of times. But when a viable concept is put on the shelf because of a lack of commitment or for political expediency or the diversion of resources to other more trendy endeavors, all of us lose. Where would our world be today if the best and brightest ideas had garnered the resources they needed at the right time? and were allowed to flourish without opposition from entrenched industries who felt threatened by new ideas. Or if companies with the technical and financial resources simply had the passion to put those assets to their highest, best use. As we consider the fact that compressed air-powered vehicles have not yet found their way to the marketplace, we must also consider two other facts. With the exception of a few special interest groups, all of us on the planet support the idea of a zero pollution vehicle. And number two, the concept of compressed air power has been proven in practice for over 130 years. Technical issues which could not have been solved in the past are being solved today. You're invited to participate in our passion to join forces with thousands of like-minded individuals to help us demonstrate the viability and value of compressed air powered zero emissions vehicles. We are not seeking the millions of dollars that would be required to start a car company and put a vehicle through all the regulatory hurdles that would be required to operate on the nation's streets and highways. Yes, our business plan does include cars and light trucks, but we're starting small and keeping it simple and filling an existing demand. Our initial models will fill demands in the recreational and industrial markets for reliable, low maintenance, zero pollution vehicles. A company or agency that buys them is clearly demonstrating that they take all available steps to minimize the impact of their operations on the environment as well as the health and safety of their workforce. We're going to build golf carts and there are four primary reasons. Number one, golf carts are an extremely good fit for the duty cycle of our technology as it's already developed. Number two, zero emissions when compared with gas-powered golf carts. Number three, a quick recharge time and zero battery cost or hazards when compared with electric carts. And number four, excellent exposure to business owners and executives whose companies and agencies are potential customers for our current and future product line. And we're also going to build industrial utility vehicles. Extremely good fit for the duty cycle of our technology as it's already developed, just like the golf carts. Number two, zero emissions, ideal for use in warehouses, manufacturing, and maintenance facilities, and underground mines. Number three, zero health hazards associated with acid and fumes from charging batteries. And number four, zero spark hazard, ideal for potentially explosive or combustible surroundings. We know these will sell. We already have commitments to buy them when they're ready. We also know that they need to be proven in the marketplace and developed and refined through real-life field testing before we move into a high production phase. 
We are determined not to be one of those companies who says their product is ready when it's not. And we are also determined to create a new industry and set a new high standard in product performance and customer satisfaction. Now here's where you can help. We need to build 30 operational prototypes and deploy them across a broad spectrum of clients, golf courses and strategic locations, and commercial and industrial applications of varying demands. We will need to be in position to monitor the prototypes and interact with the owners and maintenance personnel on an ongoing basis and refine the design as weaknesses are discovered and improvements can be made. Few people write a check for a million dollars without wanting a financial return or some degree of control. No doubt, we can find some of those people or they will find us and we are certainly willing to have a conversation. But it will be so nice just to concentrate on building great compressed air powered low speed vehicles and continue research and development on applying our technology to ultimately produce cars and light trucks. Your participation in our project can make that possible, particularly if you help this project go viral by sharing it through your social network and other centers of influence. Get involved. Make a difference. Spread the word. And we'll all breathe easier.